Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, A Monk in Cloud. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the very important topic in the uh, IT or cloud engineering. So that is, for example, let's consider you have an AWS account. Okay. So in this AWS account, let's assume that you have created few resources. Let's assume these are EC2 instances. Okay. So these were manually created by you when the account was created, but you started running some important application on these servers. Okay. And later your organization has, you know, thought about considering infrastructure as a code. That means you are managing the entire infrastructure. It can be your uh, EC2 or S3 or whatever it is, whatever the infrastructure that you create in the cloud, it is called as, uh, you know, infrastructure. And uh, if you uh, are going to manage them by using co code, that is called as infrastructure as a code. So generally, what industry uses they go either go with cloud agnostic uh, tools or uh, cloud native tools for example in aws we have an offering called cloud formation template so they will use that tool uh, to you know uh, it is like creating your own um, template and then uh, deploying it so if you deploy that template you will get the resources created in your aws account so this is first one the other one is uh, like they will use a tool called Terraform. So which we have already discussed in this channel a lot of time. So but when they use Terraform, right? So it is it can be used with uh, AWS, Azure, GCP and everything. So this is one of the benefit of going with Terraform. But I have seen personally like uh, there are few organizations they only use uh, AWS if their actual cloud uh, that they are using is AWS only. But now the question is, how are they going to import the existing resources that are already present in the AWS account? So to go ahead and, uh, you know, help the customers, what AWS has done this year is that they have introduced one tool called IAC generator. So what this tool will do is firstly, uh, there are three steps that this uh, tool will uh, accompany. So the first one was first step would be to scan your AWS account. So what this tool will do is it will go ahead and scan your entire AWS account and it will identify what are all the resources that are running. Okay. So it will give you the list of resources. I will show you in the demonstration. It will give you all the resources that are running inside this AWS account. So this process will take a, a few minutes. So we will also see this how it happens. And once the scan is ready, right? So you can go ahead and create the cloud formation templates for particular resource. For example, I have 10 resources which are created, but I only want two of them to be created using the cloud formation template. Is that possible? And the answer is yes. So you can select manually select which are all the resources that you want to you know be included in the cloud formation template you can select that and at the end you can import them to the cloud formation or cdk right so this is one of the important tool that uh, the aws has released this year which is you know quite handy so next we will go ahead log into our aws console and actually see how this uh, tool can be utilized in the production and uh, and leverage this uh, use cases across the aws accounts so see you in the aws console all right if you see here i've logged into my aws console so what i've done this for this demonstration i went ahead and created a, a manual ec2 instance when i say manual ec2 instance I created it manually. So if you're wondering how to create a, a instance, if you're a beginner in AWS, go ahead and watch my previous uh, videos in the AWS playlist. You will get a lot of videos where we will create the EC2 instance. So for that, those who have already know about, uh, you know, AWS EC2. So what I've done is I've just created this ser uh, test server using manual process, like using ClickOps. Okay. Now what I need to do is I'll go to cloud formation. So under cloud formation, they have introduced one tab called IAC generator. So I'll click on that. If you see here, uh, there are few options. Uh, it explains what is IAC generator. So I'll make sure to provide the link to this uh, for you to read and understand what is this going to be. 
So as I told you in the theory, this is uh, having three steps. One is to scan the resource, uh, create the template and import the cloud formation. So what we'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, when you open this screen, right? So there you will not see scan status as complete. As I tested it before, I'm using this uh, before, I've uh, you know scanned this account already. So it is showing as complete. But in your case, it will not be like this. So now what we need to do is let's start the new scan. So once you click on start a new scan, the process scan status will be appearing here. It will you know go from zero to hundred percent. So it will take some time for uh, the scan to happen. So let's wait for some time and see uh, uh, how much time it takes to scan the resources and whether it will include all the resources or not. So I'll come back once the scan status is complete hundred percent. All right. If you see here, uh, the scan status is complete now. So you will not see the list here. So what you need to do is let's go ahead and click on create template. Here uh, we'll you know select the start from template and I'll give a name as you know test here and read a deletion policy. I'll make sure to uh, delete once the demo is complete. So I'm not setting any policy here, but in in production, if you want, you can set it to retain. So update policy also I'm keeping it to delete. Okay, uh, I'll click on next. And if you see here, I'm getting the list of all the scanned resources. Okay, now uh, this uh, we have EC2 instance running, right? So what I'll do is I'll just filter out by resource type and I'll say EC2. Let's see if that comes up. If you see here, we have AWS EC2 instance. I'll select that. If you see here, I, I got one resource identified that is uh, this is the instance ID ending with 7576. Let's go here. If you see here 7576. OK, so what I'll do is I'll select this resource and I'll click on next. This step will actually add all the related resources. As you might already know, when you create an EC2 instance, you will also get a network interface and we will create a separate security group or attach it to the existing one. So that is there here. We need a subnet that is here. We need a volume. EBS volume will be created. If you go and select this one under storage, you will see, sorry, under storage, you will see a volume attached, right? So if you see the status is attached. So that's why we see volume and volume attachment. And we also need a VPC. So that is also in place. So this step will actually add all the related resources that are part of this instance. OK, next uh, we'll click on next. And if you see here, this will give you the details uh, that are there. And if you click on create template, it will actually give you the YAML template for you to visualize. So it will give you the you know complete template which has got all the details. In fact, you can also visually represent uh, you know you, uh, the template uh, for your understanding. OK, if you see here, so we have VPC, we have volume attachment, we have security group with the ciders, everything is there. Subnet is there. All the things, whatever that is being used by the EC2 instance is here. OK, uh, if you want to you know, download this as a JSON, you can do that. If you want to do, uh, you know, convert this to YAML, that is also there. Uh, if you want to import the uh, import this one to a stack that is also there, right? So it depends on what is your use case. These are all the resources that are present. And if you want to go ahead and download this as a um, SDK template that is also there, right? So it depends on how you actually use it. So if you click on this, uh, you'll go to actions. And if you want to import it into a stack, you can just click on that. You just need to name this, let's say uh, EC2 server, because that's what I've named there. OK, I'll just click on next. There are no parameters. Next. You will get few change sets. Let's review that. If you see here, the action is going to be import. And these are the logical IDs and the, these are the physical IDs. I hope you know what is logical ID and the physical ID. So this is uh, the changes. If you click on next and if you scroll all the way down and click on import resources, this is going to import all your resources into a CloudFormation stack. I, all right. So I'm not going to do this because I do not want to spend money on this. 
but if you are targeting uh, to use this in your uh, you know production environment where you have already created the resource this would be a game changer in your organization provided it is it can be only leveraged in aws but if you are using multi cloud then you will have to go with uh, you will be using terraform uh, if you are on multi cloud and uh, to import you know the templates for terraform i have made a separate video please make sure to check that out okay so that's all i had for this video i hope you're liking the content that i'm creating uh, if so please consider subscribing if not you know please let me know in the comments how can i improve so that i can do better in the next video thank you and i will see you in the next one